Well, hello, 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 my Saturday morning coffee people. How are you today? I am absolutely fabulous, and I hope you are too. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week. Got a sip of coffee, shall we? Smells a lot. Mmm, that is good coffee. Love my coffee. So how are you this week? Oh, what a week it's been, huh? Starting with Monday and the eclipse. Oh my goodness, I was so ready for this eclipse. Um, got my glasses. I am, with my glass, eclipse glasses, it, it also came with a filter to go over my phone. So I kept taking pictures. They were still blurry. Um, and uh, it was just, it was just incredible. I've seen a few eclipses in my life, but uh, not memorable, or I don't remember them, or, but this one, because it was anticipation, um, over a year of anticipation for me, at least. I, I remember buying eclipse glasses over a year ago because I thought, well, by the time the, this is such a big eclipse, I thought I was going to be in New York right in the path of totality. So I bought eclipse glasses because I thought that there would be none found by the time that it came close to the eclipse. Of course, put those away. I have no idea where those are. <laughs> Went to find them again. Um, couldn't find them. Ordered another pair. Packed them. <laughs> when I moved, who knows where they are. I had to buy another set. But I'm saving these glasses because the next eclipse is 20, 44, and 45. 45 will be going over the Tampa area. So I'll be ready. <laughs> we, of course, only got 60% of the eclipse here. And um, even, but it was still cool to look up there at these glasses and just see that little that little bite-sized Pac-Man bite um, in the sun. It was just incredible. And then, um, of course, I also had um, uh, the Weather Channel on for the full uh, totalities, and they went right all the way across the whole path. And the very first one was Stephanie Abrams. I was crying my eyes out with her because it was just so incredible. Woo! Nature is just so incredible. It is the sunrise is behind me. I just love it. So, um, let me just take my notes. Let's see if I missed anything about the eclipse. Uh, we'll be talking about a little bit. So, um, yeah, that was so good. Oh, um, and then I talked to a couple, uh, uh, texted with, uh, or Facebook with a couple of people from Western New York where I was going to be in the path of totality. And they hit, it was cloudy for them, but they still said it was just when it was in totality and it was so dark. It was a very eerie feeling, which I, I, I can imagine because, you know, it affects animals and stuff like that, too. So uh, it was just an incredible experience for everybody around, especially in the path. Um, just watching it on TV, it was very emotional. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, uh, all the spiritual things that are, are happening with this, and astrological things, and zo zodiac things, that come along with this eclipse, because I totally believe in all of that, bringing us forth and uh, moving forward and, and whatever uh, that means for you. <laughs> I know what it means for me. I'm living a charmed life, and I, 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 uh, I am not struggling. I'm not overcoming things. Um, a lot of my art classes are always talking about, you know, uh, courage and getting over this and uh, struggles and I, I don't I don't I've been there oh I have been there uh, in my lifetime but I am in that part of my life where I am not and I, I, I don't resonate with a lot of that stuff where's uh, what about the people who are happy all the time <laughs> that's what I want I want happiness all the time um, not to say that whatever you're going through is not irrelevant because it is. There's a reason for everything I believe and uh, I'm not going to belittle your pain. So uh, let me just go on and uh, let's let's have a happier uh, Saturday morning. 
I am not preaching this morning. Jesus. <laughs> oh. I'm more with Jesus than Jesus. <laughs> they do sell waffle irons now that you could that, that have the, the portrait of Jesus in the waffle. I'm not lying. <laughs> I do believe in that one thing. I do believe in Jesus. And I do believe in God. Not to make light. Um, speaking of happiness, <laughs> in 2022, St. Pete ranked number 14 in the U.S. for park systems uh, by the Trust for Public Land Trige, uh, um, oh, for the plus Trust for Public Land. So it is number 14 for park systems. It was also, uh, I just saw on one of my newsletters that St. Petersburg was ranked one of the happiest cities in the United States. Uh, what number it was, I'm not really sure. But um, See, see, we're all happy here. <laughs> okay, so um, I tried to do this week, I tried to do the Cory Street, which is like right over there. It's a very famous street in St. Pete Beach um, and it's got all kinds of um, restaurants and things like that and I was uh, I was going to try and do that, was that on a, on a uh, li uh, list well I was trying to do it this week I can't remember what day but the uh, traffic was so astronomical that I knew that it was going to be too people-y in uh, that area so I just made a u-turn and I went to, um, I ended up going to Gulfport. Um, also, <laughs> I pulled in and they, they got those little tents up again. I mean, is it every freaking day <laughs> in Gulfport? But I did get a parking spot. And um, I ended up going to, I walked around a few places. And then I ended up at the Gulfport Brewery again because I really wanted a burger. They didn't have burgers, but I, I ended up getting um, a baked sub which was so good. I ate the whole damn thing. <laughs> oh yeah, there'll be a picture. So that was good. Um, that was one of the things that I did this week. Yes, I'm getting out. Getting out. Um, oh, most importantly, I ordered my couch. <laughs> Hopefully in a couple weeks, I will be having coffee on my couch and I will be you won't see me because once I sink into this couch, it is so comfy. I will sink into it so much that you won't even see me. This is how comfy this couch is. This is not the original couch that I wanted. Uh, there was a couch from Inside Weather that I wanted. It was the Rosemary one. Um, but it was over $3,000 for this small couch. <laughs> and then the more I looked, and then, you know, once, you know, of course, when you're looking at couches, all these couches are going to come up. In your feed on uh, no matter what you're looking at because um the internet is in your brain <laughs> oh it doesn't just listen to you it's in your dreams and your brain now i don't know how they do it they do it but they do but then this one couch came up from ashley furniture and i was like it it, it just seemed i'm looking for comfort it, you know the money is no object um when it comes because this can be something i'll be sitting in a lot so um i wanted something comfy and the more I looked at this inside weather, I still liked it, but it was, a, it was more, it was square and in pieces. And this one from Ashley was just, uh, you'll see, you'll see. It is just so comfy. I can't wait. A couple more, end of the, end of, she kept saying end of April. We did pick a date, but she kept emphasizing, you know, this might not be the exact date, which in my mind is saying, oh, she's just giving me this date to placate me. It might take longer than that. <laughs> Pottery Barn is just as bad. You order stuff from Pottery Barn, they go back six months if they sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I ordered my couch. I can't wait. Um, uh, and one more thing that I ordered, and I, I, and I, uh, I'll, I'll show that to you too, um, maybe next week, I'm coming today. Uh, one of the um, channels that I um, follow, Healthy Elizabeth, she uses this Gravel um, air fryer oven. Oh my God. It does everything. It does bakes, air fries, broil, proofs bread, uh, 
everything. Um, and it's, it's smaller. So yeah, one of the things that I Googled was which uses more um, wattage, a regular uh, electric oven, which I have for this Prevel. And the Prevel is about 1500 watts. And the oven, like I'm just making a small steak or one chicken or something, one chicken breast, it's 500 watts or 5,000 watts. So that makes a lot of sense to me. So I'll show that to you. Excuse me, I, I did buy that um, because on the Aldi of Shame Facebook page, they kept showing that Potter's Bench um, shelf. So I went and grabbed, I went and got it from Aldi. It was like 30 bucks, 30 bucks, 39, I can't remember. But um, I didn't put the top um, shelf. The shelf is just plain, but they had like for a Potter's Bench, they had these um, wooden things to, enclosed stuff but i didn't put those on because i knew i'd be putting a bravel on there even though i didn't order it yet <laughs> this is gonna be great it's, and in actuality it was on sale and the reason why i got it was because the freaking pottery barn sent me the email saying oh you have 30 um 30 dollars worth of rewards whatever so i got 30 dollars off plus it was on sale so um and it's going to save me electricity even though my electricity bill is <laughs> okay, so what else did I do? Oh, 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 oh. Um, the Rich Roll podcast I listened to this week uh, with Michael, um, Michael O'Brien. What a moving, riveting interview. I highly suggest it. Please watch this interview. It is, it's just, it's um, over two hours long. A lot, of, all of Rich Rose's podcasts and interviews are over two hours long, and you're happy about it because you wish they would just keep on going. Rich Roll has a way of interviewing people to bring out the most interesting, wonderful information for you. And don't let it mislead you that he might be um, interviewing athletes, and he might be, but they don't talk about sports most of the time. They talk about life um spirits maybe not spirituality but health um mental psychological almost just he just makes it so interesting and he brings out the information in in such a a, a really wonderful way so please please subscribe to rich girls podcast watch listen to them all um, I actually watch this interview on YouTube. Most of the time it, it's, you can listen on podcasts, but I think watching the interviews on YouTube is even better. Please. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it, it, these interviews make your life better. I'm telling you this right now. <laughs> what is this? Preach Cindy <laughs> Saturday morning coffee. <laughs> what happened to Fun City? Cindy. <laughs> Oh, let's have some more gas. Oh my, it's really warm in here. I should have put the fan on. Look at baby. He's still sleeping. You're still sleeping? We didn't WALK yesterday because it was a big storm and it was very gusty and he would have blown away. But we will, after this coffee, it will take him for the longest WALK. He probably even knows how to spell now. Um, let's see. So that is that. Um, uh, uh, I heard this quote. I really like this. Let go of getting approval from people that don't even approve of themselves. Love that quote. Um, let's see. Uh, what am I going to do next week? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be watching the PC Trail videos by Alina Osborne. Um, uh, so my one favorite, she, one of my favorite channels is Rosa, who lives at her um, element, uh, does van life and stuff. She just made an announcement that um, she's going to be putting the van away for five months and she's going to be walking the PCT trail. Wasn't I just talking about how I was so obsessed with the PCT and the AT trails? Well, I can't wait to watch these videos. She's not going to be like as many videos as she does normally, but uh, any little bit about the trail. Of course, <laughs> uh, I 
I found a few more channels um, on the PCT and the AT Trail. People, I guess people do that now. Oh my God. I only read books about them. Now I can watch videos on them. Thank God the couch is coming. <laughs> and when summer comes and I'm stuck inside with the AC, you know where I'll be. I'll be walking the trails <laughs> on my couch. <laughs> Because I would never be able to do it myself. But it, I just uh, am so obsessed with these. So Elena Osborne, E-L-I-N-A Osborne. She's from uh, New Zealand. She's got a bunch of videos out there, really good videos. There's a guy, Kyle hates hiking. He interviews all these um, hikers and stuff. He's got a lot of um, really good videos Um so I'll be watching all those. And then Brooke and Pippa. Remember, I used to watch them. And then she got a trailer. And then she didn't want, she didn't, didn't, hasn't had really a lot of videos lately. She was on and made that out. <laughs> she got rid of her uh, really nice trailer and got a van. And now she's going to be doing van life again. So she's going to be fixing up the van and then doing van life. So I'll be back and watching all those. Please do not let me van life. <laughs> because I always think I'm going to get some stuff from the back of the forerunner and me and him are going to go and uh, do all the um, national parks. <laughs> it sounds so good, but it, but you're in that truck 24 seven. And I don't know if I, I can't do that. Not when I have AC here, internet, refrigerator, now the Gravel grill or oven, <laughs> the couch. I'm not leaving. I would rather do all this stuff from my couch and watch it. <laughs> um, I'm going to do lots of art. Um, I haven't done a lot of art journaling with like and the collaging, so I want to start doing a little bit more of that. I want to um, want to do um, like an art journal a week. I just got done um, doing a nature journal. I want to do one nature journal a week, one art journal a week. Um, art chit chat. Uh, I want to do more art videos, so um, that's coming. Um, besides making coffee, I don't. I don't know if you guys watch my art videos, but if you do, please, please. Um, <laughs> so I want to do a lot. Of, I've been doing a lot of art. Um, so, so your retro reference for today is. <laughs> Remember Beanie and Cecil? <laughs> I'm coming, Beanie Boy. It was like the weird, the, the, they had the weirdest cartoons when we were growing up. Popeye and Brutus always beating each other up. What? <laughs> but I had, there were some obscure ones that I, I really liked. Remember Sheriff Bing Bing Bing? <laughs> and then there was that cat with the purse. Remember, and in the, uh, it was the beginning or the ending of his cartoons, he would be getting ready for bed, and he would, like, comb his hair with a fish bone and um, put on his little things and go to sleep in the garbage. <laughs> this, is, this was America back then. This was America. <laughs> things I Googled this week. First, I get some nice things. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Oh, another thing I'm going to do this week is um, I want to go to Barnes and Noble and hang out there. So I'll be doing that as well. Videos. I will have some um, pictures at the end of this. Um, I think I, I think I got pictures of stuff that I did. Oh, I went back to the crumb factory. <laughs> this time I had lunch. So good. That'll be on there too. I love it. This is my new favorite coffee place. And I had the, um, lavender latte. Okay, so, um, I think I Googled, what do AM and PM mean? According to a dic dictionary.com, AM stands for the Latin phrase ante meridium, which translates to before midday, 
and the term PM, on the other hand, is an abbreviation of post-meridium, meridium, oh, as in carpe diem, uh, or after midday. <laughs> Another thing that I googled, uh, how much are Ameri how much are Americans spending on the total eclipse? <laughs> 1.6 billion dollars. The reason why I looked that up is because uh, someone I knew is being very negative about the uh, solar eclipse, and I was going to send that to them. But then I thought, no, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, I'm not going to engage negativity anymore. Because I was like, uh, this is really a big deal. Yes, it is a big deal, um, and I don't, I'm, I'm not into negativity, so I'm going to let that go. <laughs> I'm happy, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, uh, one of my um, channels, my um, painting in your PJs, almost every morning except Wednesdays, and sometimes um, uh, we get on a live every morning at 9 o'clock, and we, sh we just do some, you know, uh, junk journaling or just um, little get-togethers, and, and it's live. And just doing a little um, chit chat about life, spirituality, our week, um, and just get it being better about about our life and things like that. So, um, one of the things she talked about on there was um, she had these really she was doing collage and she had these really cool pictures that she cut out from Spirituality and Health magazine. So of course, I looked on there, you know, looking for. Uh, subscriptions and stuff, maybe having it delivered here. Then I found out and I thought, no, stop spending money. I went on my Libby app, which is free if you have a library card. All those magazines are free on there. So if I do find a picture that I like, I'll print it. <laughs> and I went through two magazines already still and I didn't I didn't print any pictures yet. So but the articles are really, really interesting. So uh, always, always check your Libby app. I love uh, reading articles on Outside Magazine. Are you sensing a little pattern here? <laughs> I love Outside Magazine. I love the PC teacher. I do all this from home. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I love the articles and stuff like that. Outside Magazine, um, now Spirituality and Health, and there were a couple others that were kind of like that that I you subscribe to them, and then you can go look at a bunch of back issues, and then they ping you when the, the new issues come. Um, and a few others, you know, oh, Cook's Illustrated. I used to get that. Actually, that is something you really have to subscribe to because it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And Cook's Illustrated magazine, um, the, the recipes that are in there, they literally do a scientific research and background of things of all of the ingredients etc cetera, etc cetera, before they print and, and test and do testing of these in, uh, recipes and then they write about them and tell you all the details absolutely great magazine even if you want, read it for free on Libby but look at how beautiful the covers are they're all painted too so ooh. Ooh. um <laughs> Where does boom shakalaka come from? Because <laughs> everybody always boom shakalaka all the time. And I'm like, where did that originate from? And then when I read it, it, it made sense. Um, boom shakalaka may have roots in the 1969 song, I Wanna Take You Higher by Sly and the Family Stone. Boom shakalaka laka, boom shakalaka laka. <laughs> Oh, now I want to play that like full blast. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to Cindy's spiritual <laughs> uh, spiritual retreat where I want to take you higher. <laughs> I hope your next this the rest the, the next week is higher than it was last week. <laughs> I get high on caffeine. Mm. 
thank you, and I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.